scoured the internet and found what you had to say. And now. And now. <laughs> I shall expose you. Hello, beautiful people. I'm the Lunch Master. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Subscribe. This is everything you had to say about Aram Moshtabai from The Blacklist. Aram is down to earth, awkwardly funny, and a lot of people rely on him. Red respects the hell out of him for saving Elizabeth. He just does his thing. He saved the team a couple of times, as well as Red. Aram had to be the most lovable character ever to play an FBI agent. Aram, my beautiful cupcake, I love him to bits. He's really become a breakout character. Aram is my favorite, he's such a sweetheart. Aram was my absolute favorite in this show. Witty, smart, funny, and would throw down if anyone touched Samara, or any of the others for that matter. His whole bit about not having his Spotify list ready for the wedding was just perfect. Amir really nailed this character. My family is a huge fan of Aram. He is too pure. I love Aram. Aram is too cold. Samara and Aram are my favorite love story. I started binging the show with my wife, I just finished season 3 episode 10 and Aram is our absolute favourite. He's just so kind to his colleagues and kicks so much butt. But if he turns out to be a bad guy, I'm gonna lose it. I happen to love Aram's quirkiness and natural spontaneity. He seems to have a good heart and a strong sense of right and wrong, but few social skills, especially concerning women. He's also fearful when he doesn't feel safe in a situation. For example, the Louis Coogan episode, El Canejo, and when Janet was beating him up. My husband and I love Aram. I feel like his character might be on the autism spectrum. I don't get whiny or shy vibes, just a little socially inept and awkward. I was just starting to feel like he was slowly becoming the best character. I found it quite funny with his awkward, cringe, bad timing comments in the earlier seasons. Sometimes it was such bad timing and you can see Harold is just so done with him and others as well. Like it's the hilarious cherry on top of a stressful scene. I love how his nerdy and tech skills will come out and save the scene or provide a missing piece of the puzzle to solve or it's the answer to save the situation. Like. He's a dork for 90% of the time, and then BAM! He has the edges of the cooler the killer stores the bodies. I like how he grew a backbone after having lost Samar. He had to step it up and grow outside of his comfort level. I did for a while think it was dumb to promote him to field agent, but on second watching, I just love his character so much that I was cool with it. It's like, do they bring in a new character or upgrade one already in the mix? Okay, and I get it. The whole love-sex-spy arc with the married lady was ridiculous, but what I liked about that episode, or how I saw it, was that he had to pretend to be cool and collected to protect the civilian, or keep it together for her. It would be bad if he was a nervous wreck and she was with him going undercover. It would have been a Three Stooges act. Seemed to me like he really wasn't collected and still had his worry-wart tendencies. But he had to mask them and pretend to do his job at his best. Him breaking cover and smashing the glass was an Aram emotional reaction. Not sure how else to save the day and move. Or this is all just me justifying why I love this character. Maybe because I love his cringe that even now as a field agent. Yes, he's terrible and cringy but it's okay. I almost feel like they use him to be the comic relief sometimes. I always liked his character, he's kind of dorky and he has a terrible taste in humour, but that's what his character is and it suits him. It's like Liz that I can't stand though. Honestly, I liked him all the way through. When he took Cooper's position when he was out, sure, it was a little annoying, but for the most part, I felt like he always stayed true to his character, but it was nice to see him grow confidence in himself over time. Aram is also a stellar character who I was happy to see get some character development outside of his relationship with Samar. Aram is a sweetie. When Aram had to sign translate that there is an FBI mall agent, I couldn't stop laughing at how nervous he was getting. The whole episode of season 8, episode 6, was one of the most entertaining in a long time. Glenn's tribute was very well done. 
Aram had to face himself, for better or worse, come with me. It's said that we show our true selves when we're either given power or we are facing death. The bear mask launches us into Aram's plight with the former once he's put in charge of the task force. Aram is the most stupid character, placed only to say the lines that please the militancy. Every time he says a woke line, when he asks Keen how she managed to stand up to everyone, including committing crimes and still care for a daughter, it was pathetic. That feminist attempted to praise a mother for doing the basics, or when he uses neutral pronouns to refer to potential criminals. Season 8 was unbearably woke. I can't stand this guy. He's a coward who never keeps his word to the woman he loves. Aram is as naive and stupid as Adam on your honor. I hated Aram's character with a passion. Samar could have done so much better than Aram. I'm not gonna lie, I'm glad Aram and Samar are over. I was getting tired of Aram's behavior. Now I was going to focus on work at least, but not happy that she didn't have a meaningful death instead of going somewhere on her own to lose her mind slowly. It's a sad end for a warrior. Aram is good-hearted, but is also the type of guy that will get the entire team killed with his stupidity. Character inconsistency dances all over the place here. Aram, after an internal battle with himself, realizes that he has two sides inside of him. A self-destructive one that makes him think he's worthless, the evil Aram, and a good one that tells him he has to keep trying, which is smart. At the end of the episode, he reconciles with both of his selves and accepts that this is a constant battle that he has to fight every day. Two episodes later, he gives up and goes to live a solitary life in Brooklyn. Aram, you had one job. And you hold your phone upside down? I think he's a great character in the sense that he isn't in your face, but maintains this humorous balance in the show. I feel like he's been around the block a few too many times to not learn some serious lessons here. But he never does. In fact, he second guesses himself. He never thinks, wait a minute, maybe I shouldn't be so trusting. He always believes everything they have to say. I find it tiring. Aram has the worst taste or luck when it comes to women. First, let me say, I think the actor is awesome. And this comment is in no way intended to reflect his ability to portray the character. But aiming at the writers, what the hell, man? It makes zero sense for this naive, bumbling, gullible tech guy to suddenly be the leader. And now an assistant director of the FBI as well? Surely it isn't required to be assistant director just to run a task force. I haven't seen such a laughable character arc since they promoted CJ Craig, the press sec- secretary, to chief of staff in West Wing. I like Aram, but he's not a leader. He was totally fooled romantically by two women. And then Liz still explosive with his badge. There's no common sense there. I barely see Cooper as a leader with the way he lets Liz walk all over him. He tolerated her insubordination, dishonesty, and betrayal with no consequences. Aram was too idealistic. Aram was a complete simp with zero backbone. I never really cared for Aram. The shy, geeky persona was fine for the first couple of seasons, but it got tiresome as the show went on. Aram never seemed to develop as a character. On one side, Aram is the super mastermind, and on the other, this whiny little boy who is so shy. It got tired really quick. Aram at the office seems competent, but it really annoys me that they keep putting him in the field in a lot of episodes. He's kind of a weakling, and it's always super scared anytime something goes down. I also feel like the relationship between Amar and Smar is so forced. Smar is definitely out of his league. Aram acts like he's never been with a woman before. I don't particularly care for either of the characters, but if I had to choose one to stay and one to go, Samar would be the one to stay. Aram is a very controlling partner, perhaps even abusive. I'll never forget, he gave a part of his salary to Samar. Dude, you earned that paper. Really wish she'd seen wrestler's salary instead. (laughs) Would have loved to see how that would have played out. His awkwardness is super childish and it's a desperate, deliberate attempt at try-hard cringe humor. It's so forced and in later seasons, so constant. Comic relief is not an FBI trait and it's not white collar. Watching a grown adult constantly choke on his word is one thing, sure. 
FBI agents could be extremists so they have problems and tics and autism and obsessions, but come on, man. The other characters implore him to get it together and be an adult. They should have kept him as the dorky guy in the chair at headquarters. Trying to make a realm the sex fiend secret agent rock star has been cringe to the max. Aram sure got the worst deal when it came to romance. I hated when he would interject over Cooper making a hard call. Guys, we can't do that. Buddy. Cooper is the assistant director of the FBI. If he wants your opinion, he'll ask for it. Otherwise, get back to your computer. Aram in season 8 was too tough for me to handle. He kept helping Liz, which was so dumb. I really can't help you. Looks at him with the same frown expression. Okay, I'll help you one last time. That is what he did in every episode. The writing was dumbed down a lot. I thought that as a tech operator, he was fine and fits the character more than enough, and it doesn't take much attention on himself. However, when he was made a field agent, I cringed as well. He is so morally correct in the worst way possible, and it just doesn't fit it. His issue with killing is so cringe, especially since that's one of the biggest factors of a field agent. Snappy decisions at any second. Not sure why he got a bigger role towards the end. Aram brings humor to the otherwise too serious war room. Agent Moshtabai. Aram is my favorite and I loved how he said hi Dembe while Dembe was being escorted to his cell. That was too cute. I love Aram next to Red and Dembe. What episode is it where Aram says coffee machine still works? Aram is the perfect definition of letting yourself become vulnerable for love. Us men need to take notes. The way he looks at her. You can't fake that. I'm glad to know that I'm not the only one that thinks Aram and Samar's constant back and forth flirting is adorable. Aram's most awesome moment is season 7, episode 3. Aram, although a wizard his job, had always been a bit nervous, unsure of himself, and even erotic at times. But at least he admitted this, and he got the help that he needed. Aram has a few screws loose, which is absolutely hilarious. Even though he was a wuss at times, had no luck with women, and could be a neurotic mess, he did things from a pure heart. He loved his fellow colleagues and Mr. Reddington, and was always very honest. Plus, he came through for the task force when needed. He was great at his job in general. Poor, sweet, somewhat neurotic Aram. Ever the loser when it comes to women. Though he truly loved Samara, and was heartbroken over losing her, he also rather boldly went against Red in forcing him to reunite with him. That took some guts. Aram should keep the beard. I'm sorry, but I didn't know there were people that didn't like Aram. I always look forward to him, and I get the point about his relationship with Samara, especially at the beginning, but I grew to like them towards the end. I was kind of rooting for them. I enjoyed Aram. He would be more interesting if he would toughen up. His best scene to me was when he faced up to Garvey. Amir can handle better scenes than fawning over Liz. He is by far the most innocent character on the show. He is precious and must be protected at all costs. Aram gets distracted too easily. That's what you get for knowing things too much. Everyone has to say Aram whenever he starts speaking. I wish he hadn't left the show. It's hard to find someone like Aram in real life. Man, I admire your character. What a lucky dude. I can't believe Aram punched Reddington. Oh well, it seems like I have been waiting for a lifetime for Aram to finally man up and kiss Samar. He has been so afraid to let himself love her because he was afraid she would hurt him. Now he realizes it was not Samar hurting him, but Janet who hurt him twice. Samar has loved him and stayed loyal to him. He's the most stupid smart person out there. He's a the perfect example of a nice guy who gets taken advantage of. In my opinion, the only part of Aram after his field agent qualification that made sense was his sex capades with that married woman whose name eludes me. Aram is a nerd, a dork, and not that experienced or confident in dating. All the women we see with him have made the first move. He's the kind of guy who craves intimacy and love. See one of his early statements in the season, I like being liked. For such a guy, it's incredibly plausible that it stick with an overly confident woman who drags him down into illegal activities, not to mention cheat with, right next to her comatose husband. I need a good wake-up call to snap out of it. 
It's a textbook toxic relationship and manipulation. The whole bit where he's this super agent doing flip kicks, disarming trait security gorillas and thinking quick enough to break the glass just before the women suffocates? Nah, not even with proper field training would he have the self-confidence to execute such a maneuver. He's the guy who's confident in his technical skills and knowledge, not his physical capabilities. That episode where he confronts the CEO of a tech company with that monologue, per Perfection. That's Peak Aram, a guy who knows what he did, what will happen, and needs no brute force to get his point through. That moment was almost Reddington-ish. Aram should never go undercover. I wonder why they need to make him so gullible that every gal that comes along fools him for nefarious purposes, except Samar. That was a legit relationship. He is just the nerd character in the show, which is disappointing because he seems like he could be a very interesting and complicated character, but it's easier to let him be the typecast for the nerd that likes computers and doesn't know anything about girls. The Aram and Red scene in the series are quite good. The original from season one where Red makes him do the traceless money transfer with a gun in his face is priceless. Actually, at the risk of being stoned to death with popcorn, I didn't care for the whole badass Aram in the field thing. I thought it was very awkward and out of place. Here, we have a guy who needs therapy every time he has to kill someone and hardly knows one end of a gun from another. All of a sudden, he's shooting guys left and right without a thought. I think I liked Aram better as head of the nerd herd. I'm just saying. He's really become a breakout character. He's the most relatable character on the show. I want to rewatch the episode where Agent Moshtavar takes illegal psychedelics and is put under sleep. I miss Saram so much. I know this may be a bit controversial, but as soon as I saw her, I thought of course Zebra David was the OG Mossad agent, who I like better, sorry. But her relationship with Aram was special, because Zebra and Tony were a great cat and mouse. It was heartwarming to see a couple actually happen naturally. Samara is missed. Is it just me who wants the Aram spin-off series? Aram is the best example for us men to show our emotions no matter what the society wants us to be. Aram kisses while he talks LOL. <laughs> Did Samar and Amara finally get married? Aram is a textbook stickler. He can't or simply won't walk the thin line of morality that is required for the task force to exist. It's what it's always been about. In exchange for a flowing stream of high-value criminal targets, the task force perpetually ignores the overt fact of Red's extensive and ongoing criminal activities. Aram, being a stickler for the rules, can easily get Red killed. And even if it doesn't in a particular case, it can undermine his credibility in his world, which defeats the purpose of him being an informant. One of the flaws of Aram's character is that he's wound right. His tenure at the top of the force really shows why Cooper is the man for the job because although he's tough, he's also fair and almost always level-headed. I love Aram, but there have been a few moments that made me sigh and go, oh, another nice guy. I kind of liked him until he was made a field agent. Aram might have sociopathic tendencies. I liked him until near the very end when he would become the boss. And Aram, Dembe and Red in a spin-off, please. I also love when he gets super serious about stuff, like I got my own rubber ducky. You forgot my favorite when he says, why are we standing in front of an empty grave? My favorite Aram scene was, I need a banana scene. You're about to get your butt kicked off the planet. Wow, you're tall. Do you know what would be awesome? If that Aram character would end up being the real bad guy, the evil brain behind everything, I really would love to see the blacklist have that turn. Fun fact, Fun fact. Aram, Aram speaks, Aram speaks better, better German, German than the, than the Nazis, Nazis in Dresden. I have to get back to this because I can't accept Aram in season 7 being a wild boy and trying to get out of his misery with a married woman. He really has bad taste when it comes to women, except for Samar. Samar and Aram's relationship is genuine and mature. I miss Mozan. I really hope she could return to the series, even if for a couple of episodes, and save Aram from his poor choices in women. Aram is the marshal of the blacklist. It's been very long that the writers pursued Agent Mochtabai's romantic life, given his emotionally sensitive character. I was just wondering if Weecha and Aram would make an interesting pair on the show. 
since the show is already running slow and they don't have much of a focus other than Kin's death, a little focus on Aram would make it a bit more bearable. Although I feel for Aram, it would be like betraying Agent Navabi, but he does deserve better. What is your most memorable Aram Moshtabai moment from The Blacklist? Let me know in the comments and we'll meet again soon. Tralala. -la.